everybody, J.K. Callaway here, jumping into the season two finale of Cobra Kai. Yeah, episode 10, season two, it's called No Mercy, which, you know, is the best wrestling video game on the N64. But also not a good, not a good sign of what's to come. They ended season one with Mercy, and then season two started with Mercy part two. And now we're doing No Mercy. Uh, is, does season three end with moderate mercy? Don't answer that. But yeah, it, it's probably a really accurate title because last we left off, like, these close. Everyone was these close, both uh, Cobra Kai and Miyagi Do, uh, to getting into an all out brawl at Moon's party. By the way, can we talk about Moon? great character <laughs> like it's very much a side character but she's like played some important parts here this is great plus she's cute plays the hippie girl really well now dating a girl it's great she needs a spin-off moon kai but yeah so tensions are crazy high and i'm guessing we're going to the first day of school or the end of the summer one or the other i'm not sure how it's gonna end but maybe it ends on labor day who knows but in better news like everyone else is doing pretty good like uh you know, daniel and and johnny are on good terms right now johnny is dating miguel's mom or at least they went on a date and kissed at the end and it went really well and she's way out of his league but hey that's that's a, that's a that's Hollywood for you, uh, but there is some issues because Sam got hammed at the party. Um, Robbie took care of her, but with lack of places to go, Robbie brought Sam to Johnny's place, and yeah, that that could be a problem for Daniel in the future. But probably the smartest thing that Robbie could have done to make sure Sam is safe and somewhere safe to be. And maybe even it gets Johnny and Robbie talking again, hopefully, you know, mend that fence. So we'll see. We'll see what they have planned for the finale, man. Before we get going, make sure you do hit subscribe right down there. I always appreciate it. Right around 7,700, which is awesome. Hit like on the channel so more people find it. Hit like on the video so more people find it. But yeah, it's been a fun couple of seasons. We've kind of jammed season one and two together as fast as we could so we can get to season three. And we'll start that next Monday. Uh, we'll do two episodes a week until we're caught up on the entire show. And it's been really good. Like, it was... There's been episodes where I'm like, okay, nostalgia. Cool. But at the same time, there's been some really good storytelling not based around Daniel and Johnny. You know what I mean? Like the like the kids have had their own thing a lot of times. Uh, Amanda's been amazing. Daniel's wife. Amanda's great. And a lot of great, interesting side characters, especially the kids. They're all holding their own. And it seems like, you know, I don't know how well they're doing it, but it seems like a lot of the kids are doing their own stunts, doing their own fighting, doing their own sparring, if you will. Uh, especially Miguel and Hawk. You know, like I can't, tell completely if they're trained martial artists but it damn sure looks like it's their faces doing those moves you know what i mean like they're not getting just back to the heads and you know heavy hair and shit like that it looks like it's them so it's really interesting if they got mostly fighters to play the roles of the fighters that's really interesting and cool but i don't know it might just be good acting who knows it could be a matrix situation where they're just <laughs> and then just speed it up. Who knows? But we're also doing lots of other fun shows on the channel here. We're doing Dead to Me on Tuesdays. This is us on Thursdays. Ozark on Fridays. So there's a lot of fun shows going on. Make sure you check them out. Also check out Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash JK Reacts. We do full reactions for every show we do on use on uh, YouTube. Sorry, I was gonna say useless. That's weird. Oh, it's because the Netflix thing is going by here. I'll put the it's a sightless. It distracted me. But we also do some Patreon exclusive stuff like Killing Eve and Stranger Things. We do that on the weekends just for patrons. 
And we do the MCU. We do full season drops at the beginning of each month. There's lots of fun stuff. Go check it out. Go look at the lists. And if it interests you, support the channel. No mercy. Like, what happened at the end of season one? No one got really hurt. Robbie dislocated a shoulder, I guess, and lost the tournament to Miguel. Cool. We'll see what they got. Anthony, have you seen your sister? Not since yesterday when I got home from camp. Find my iPhone. Yeah? Here it is. She's somewhere between Sherman Way and Sadako. What is she doing in Racina? What the hell? Hey, man. Is my daughter here? Yeah, just calm down. But don't tell me to calm down, all right? Where is she? Hey, I don't need to do anything until you cool off. Guys, stop it. It's about your kids. Are you okay? Yeah, I I'm fine. Then why didn't you call or text us? I gave you a second chance. This whole thing was a, was a mistake. You know, you want to end up like him, that's up to you. Johnny was defending his kid. Daniel was, yeah, sure. I'm going to go. Thanks for driving me down. Hey, at least something good came with it. They're talking. Good morning, students and faculty. Welcome to a brand new year at West Valley High. I hope you all had a wonderful summer and are ready to dive back into the school year. Yeah. I mean, do you have any actual security guard experience, Mr... Oh, no. Oh, Stingray. Just one word, Stingray. Mm. My sensei has been very pleased with my progress, and I think in time you will see a yellow belt strapped around my midsection. What is this guy's deal? Why... <laughs> is he someone's cousin? Why is he getting so much screen time? <laughs> Uh oh. You're not allowed to. Samantha LaRusso. I'm coming for you, bitch. Yeah, move your ass. You kiss Miguel. This is really well choreographed. Like they're now, like the cameras are bumped like from one one section to another really well. It's okay, sir. I got this. <laughs> Fuck. <Yeah. laughs> Have been fighting forever.
Whoa, what the fuck? Robbie, what did you do? What the fuck? Seriously? Well, he's not... They didn't kill him. But he broke his back for fucking sure, right? Like, holy shit. I just got called from the high school. What's wrong? Fucking everything. Carmen? He breaks his neck? You've seen your fair share of these, so you know the next 24 hours are critical. He's gonna pull through, right? He broke his neck? We're doing everything we can. Before Miguel met you, he was a sweet boy. He avoided fights. Now look what you did. I can't believe Robbie would do that. It's all my fault. Oh, no, no. No, don't say that, Sam. Uh, no, but yes, but no. Break into the train? I jump! I jump! I jump! I jump! Class! You let them down when they needed you the most. Somebody needed to remind them what it takes to win. Really? Miguel's in the hospital because of you. He showed mercy to Robbie Keane because of you. If he dies, that's on you. When you were out of town, I had a little talk with the landlord. No, you didn't. Turns out he doesn't like it much. You have no money. Can't do this. Of course I can. I found that Cobra Kai. It belongs to me. You want Cobra Kai? It's yours. You have no money. Unless that silver guy from movie three is backing you again. Right? He's living in a homeless shelter. What the fuck? How did you... Like, I'm sure Daniel feels bad, but Johnny's gonna be dying inside. What? Really? Well, that's one way to... Holy shit! Holy shit! Well... Fucking hell, dude. Like... Just like... Okay! All right! On! So... Wow! So Miguel, like, his, his neck is broke. Or his back is broke. Or something like that. And, you know, Johnny's got to be, like, I don't know if he has depression, but he's got alcoholism, and that could be a problem, but thankfully he didn't drive anywhere. Like, like, there's so much, wow. So yeah, Miguel's seriously hurt. Like, I don't know where they're going with that. If they're gonna do a time jump with you know the big gap in between season two and three as far as shooting goes or if they're gonna jump right back to you know that time I don't, I don't know but like Daniel shutting it down Johnny allowed Kreese to steal his dojo I guess like what the fuck is that all about there's clearly not as many Cobra Kai members in Kreese's little closet practice. But there's enough, and, you know, is he gonna try to build, like, what Johnny's old friends were, the bullies? You know, although we've seen it from a different point of view, and, he, like, he felt like Daniel was fucking with him. Whatever, like, just... just uh, but you had Hawk, and you had Tori, and you had Chris's old friend, which I don't even know if he has a name, this curly-haired guy who fought with Chris. Like, I, like, those three, and then some others, I don't know, we'll find out, but... I mean... They, they wow, they, they almost killed Mikel. <laughs> Taken aback by that, that's kind of amazing. 
Obviously, Miguel's mom, Carmen, is going to blame Johnny for this, but, you know, M Miguel's just as much to blame as anybody is, but wh where's where's Robbie in all this? He didn't check on Sam in the hospital? He didn't check on Miguel in the hospital? Did he just, you know, run off and join his old friends to just wallow and, you know, avoid the responsibility, maybe, or just... I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm very interested to see what the fuck. That's scary, though. <laughs> you know, it was a crazy, crazy fight scene that lasted, what, three-fourths of that episode, damn near. And it ended with a very silly fall from, from Miguel until he hit. And it was like, oh, shit. Okay. They're really going there. Like, that was brutal. Like, if that was an actual stunt by somebody, they better have gotten paid. Because that's not a friendly fucking... That would... Mm. Daniel and Johnny had to get together. Like, Johnny's got to join M Miyagi-Do or something. I, I, that's not going to happen, but... Like, they need to get together and be like, Listen, this went too fucking far. We need to stop this shit. So yeah, when we jump back into Season 3... We don't know where Robbie is. I have, we haven't seen him. Like he's got to find his dad first and foremost. Like he's gonna like I don't like. There's so much. There's so much. Fucking Crease with his version. What are they gonna be? Is it is this gonna go through the school year, if you will, and end with the next tournament? You know what I mean? Like is that where they're going with this? Because that was like. I mean, the stakes are a little higher than a fucking tournament at this point. Miguel's close to fucking death. You know? <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Well, thank you guys for watching. Because, damn. Uh, yeah, leave your comments. Let me know what you thought of this episode. What you thought of Season 2, the whole series at large. And we will jump into Season 3 next Monday. And start catching up on that. Two episodes a week. But... They almost killed Miguel. <laughs> fucking wow. That was wild, man. That was super fucking crazy. And I'm excited to see what they put together for season three. But damn. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. My hair is insane. I don't care. It is like four in the morning. I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> but yeah, we'll talk to you next time, guys. I really do appreciate it. And we'll see you for season three.